guys i want to talk a little bit about the things that are happening well that's been happening for the past week or so actually not even the past week or so like the past two weeks a lot has happened and i probably won't talk about all of the stuff that has been happening i'm probably gonna like talk a little bit and then, then do a two-part video but let's just get this out of the way kodak black i never even heard of kodak black until this whole situation with him talking about dark skinned girls and where them yellow bones at came up okay what happened was this nigga is gonna sit there and make a rap song talking about I don't want them dark skinned bitches. I'm already black. Where are them yellow bones at? And of course, people are offended. And actually, the first time I heard about this was when some light skinned woman that I was following tweeted it. So I was like, okay, bitch, okay, like, what the fuck is this nigga on? Because this isn't 2012 no more. Everyone knows dark skinned women are beautiful. So when people say ignorant things about only yellow bones are attractive, I get mad. And honestly, growing up as a child, I never liked my skin color. I never liked the fact that I was brown. So do you think I want dark skinned girls, girls darker than me, feeling ugly because of their skin color? If I didn't like my skin color, what makes you think that I'm going to be okay with people talking about dark skinned girls? I've had people ask me, why am I so offended just because I'm light skinned? Well, first of all, even if I was like Mariah Carey, blah, 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 why wouldn't I be offended if you're talking about my sisters? If you're sitting here calling my sister an ugly dark skinned bitch, do you think I'm just going to sit there and like, well, you're not talking about me, so I'm not going to be mad? No, I come from dark skinned women. I come from dark skinned men. So I just really wish people would stop getting upset because I'm offended that a dark skinned man is talking about dark skinned women or any black man is talking about dark skinned women. Just sit there and say that I shouldn't care because, you know, he's not talking about me. I just feel like really I shouldn't care because he's talking about black girls. He's talking about black girls that look black. You know, I never liked the way I look when I was a kid. So I try to make other black girls feel good about themselves. And to hear other black girls get put down, I just don't like that because I know how it feels to be told that you're ugly and that you need to bleach your skin. I've been told by people to bleach my skin. And it hurts. It really does. So, hey, I'm not going to sit here and be okay with colorism. Another thing is, I just find it hypocritical how people are going in on black women who talked about Gabby Douglas's hair and say black women need to stop tearing each other down, but don't say shit when Kodak Black says something about black women. And it just really pisses me off because he didn't even say dark skin bitches. He said black bitches. So basically black women who fit his ideal of visible blackness and then the yellow women the light-skinned women aren't really black okay they are the acceptable black women so he doesn't even really see their blackness and that's also offensive in itself i just feel like you're okay with kodak black saying i only want dark skin or i only want light-skinned women because it's a preference quote unquote but let black women say something about Gabby Douglas's hair and then suddenly, oh, black women are always tearing each other down. Fuck your massage and why. You're using that as an excuse to say, well, if black women can't take care of themselves or if they don't like each other, why should we respect them? That's basically, you're talking about this whole black on black crime. And I just feel like, don't sit there and come at black women or collect black women for talking about Gabby Douglas's hair. If you cannot collect Kodak Black, for talking about dark skinned black women. It doesn't work that way. Little Mama made a video elegantly or eloquently calling out black men and women for putting down Gabby Douglas, Douglas and other black women down. And I like Cardi B a little bit. I think that she's problematic, but I didn't really like how she said black females. Like notice she put so much emphasis on emphasis on black like she wanted to make this about how black females hate each other and then she said spanish and i understand like she's latin so like how she like describes um people like is you know culturally her thing but i kind of had a problem with how like she said black and spanish females but my issue is the fact that they're going to a lot of people are going to take what cardi b says and says yeah she came for black women and i don't think that's what cardi b was doing but a lot of people are going to take it that way. And people have already talked about it on Twitter. 
and I just cannot stand people who want to talk about how oh black men are allowed to diss black women it's just their preference like they will come up with any excuse they can literally say fuck them nigger bitches I love yellow bitches fuck them but it's just a preference but someone talks about Gabby Douglas's hair and People are calling them hood rats, ghetto bitches. Well, you don't have long hair. You don't got no edges. And honestly, what they said about Gabby Douglas was wrong. It pissed me off because you would think after four years, people would grow, but they haven't. You would think, oh, you know, maybe I was wrong about talking about her hair. Maybe there's more things to do than to worry about a little 15-year-old girl's hair. No, these same people are still talking about it today in 2016. And it's very disappointing. It is. Another thing is Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez and a controversy around Justin Bieber clapping back at his fans. I don't like Justin Bieber, but leave that man alone. I'm so sick of people calling Justin Bieber a jerk just because he doesn't want to talk to a bunch of white girls who sexually harass him, who stalk him, who have no respect for his boundaries and privacy. They are literally bum rushing him when he's just going to the store to shop and they are asking him for an autograph. And when he's like, no, they think that he is such a jerk. And I don't understand. And I don't like Justin Bieber, as I said. I think Justin Bieber is a piece of shit for different reasons. But not really fucking with his fans is not one of them. Because, one, celebrities don't owe you anything. And the whole reason started was because they were going in on his friend, Sophia. She's a model. And it's questionable that she's 17 and he's 22. And I feel like I will never date someone in high school because I think that's just weird. But Justin Bieber came out and said, you guys need to leave her alone because they were calling her a slut. They were just saying horrible and misogynistic things about her. So Justin comes out and defends his friend. And then here comes Selena saying, well, if you don't want your friend to get made fun of, don't share a bunch of pictures of her on Instagram. First of all, bitch, I know you. You didn't have a problem with Justin Bieber exposing his girlfriend when you were his girlfriend. But now that it's another girl, you suddenly have a problem. And now you want to side with the believers, A bunch of people who said racist things about your heritage. A bunch of people who slut shamed you and harassed you and trolled you just because you dated their idol. But now you want to take their side. Bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, shut the fuck up. I guess you want to take the attention off of Taylor Swift and the fact that people went in on you for saying, oh, I don't have to choose sides. I'm not going to talk about Black Lives Matter because it's choosing a side. I'm on Justin Bieber's side. First of all, you can say Justin Bieber wasn't famous before Selena Gomez, but he blew up before Selena Gomez. He was an it factor. And Selena Gomez, at first, Selena Gomez looked like she wasn't into this little short 16-year-old kid. Oh, he's just a kid, you know, <laughs> he's cute with a cute little crush. But then when he blew up, it just seems like, oh, now I want him. That's what it seemed like. So I just feel it suspicious that Selena is talking about how she doesn't like the fact that he posted a bunch of pictures of his girlfriend. Shut up, Selena. You sound bitter. Just please stop. But like I said, why are we going in on Justin Bieber and saying that Selena ended his career? All because he defended his girlfriend or friend or whoever from getting attacked and harassed and trolled by fake fans. Fans that don't respect Justin Bieber and they are mad because they called him fans or he called them fans and they were like, we're believers. We're not like, they don't owe you anything. They don't. All he is is a celebrity that you like and the thing is if I were Justin Bieber I wouldn't fuck with you either because you guys are racist misogynistic and say a bunch of horrible things about Justin Bieber and just saying like I'm gonna fuck him I'm gonna rape him you know Justin Bieber sees all that shit and he really doesn't have respect for the fan base because honestly Justin Bieber is one of the few people who really calls out his fans when they do some fucked up things. And I think that's why people are really mad at him because instead of just acting like everything is okay and kissing up to a bunch of white girls that say horrible, misogynistic, and racist things in the name of Justin Bieber, he's just like, no, I don't fuck with that. Like, I'm not here for all that. And people want to say that that makes him a jerk. No, it makes him human. There's other things to hate Justin Bieber for, but I don't think saying that his fans are assholes and they need to back off and stay in their lane isn't one of them. 
that's all for now. I was going to talk about Korean games, but I'm, I think I'm going to do a separate video about that because it's going to take a long time for me to express how I feel about the Korean game situation. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to get these things off my chest. So, talk to you later.